Hey guys, Jay Siemens here. We're back on the ice. In today's video, we're talking about fishing on a budget. And I'll give you some gift ideas if you're looking to buy something for that doorsman in your family. Got him. Oh, fish, fish, fish. Oh my gosh. Did you guys see that? All right, well, I got a new toy. And while I could walk out to the spot across the lake, across the portage, I got an e-bike. And I was like, I think this is gonna be the perfect first ice tool when you're dealing with four inches of ice, five inches of ice. Maybe you don't wanna bring the quad out, but an e-bike, I mean, come on. This thing apparently goes 80 miles on a charge. It is heavy. It's like a hundred pounds. It is called the Himalay Cobra. It's got some power. I'm packing everything into a backpack. Cause as you guys heard, that's the theme of the video. We're fishing on a budget. The e-bike isn't part of the budget. I could just walk and uh, exert myself, but I mean, anyways. Uh, so I did get this pretty sweet helmet with it. <laughs> it's got a light on the front, but we did have some pretty bad wipeouts the first couple times using the e-bike. So especially when there's some glare. Now there's snow, I think it's not gonna be too bad, but these aren't studded tires. At some point I'd like to get studded tires. I'm gonna dial in my e-bike fishing setup yet, but for now we're going to catch some fish. I look so dumb right now. <laughs> Something else I should mention is I did check this ice already. I was here like a week ago, over a week ago. There is good ice. I wouldn't just go send my bike out if I hadn't checked the ice, but where some ice picks, I got a floating suit. Safety is the name of the game. If you're not familiar with the conditions, you got to check as you go. Never assume. This is going to be fun. Some momentum. Whew, we're doing it. I think we got the lake to ourselves today. Oh, we should check the ice. Wow. Yeah, probably six, seven, eight inches of ice. Could have driven a quad on this. Okay guys, we made it to the lake. This is gonna be a two-part video. First off, the e-bike, it, it's not a gimmick. This thing is unbelievable for first ice. I'm gonna rig up a little toboggan yet and that'll be a different uh, a different video. But anyways, I, I'm liking that thing. You know, one of the goals of this channel is to educate, inspire, entertain. I never want gear to be a hold back from somebody getting into ice fishing. Obviously you watch these videos with live scopes and heaters and shacks and all this stuff and you're like, I, I can't afford all that. Well, you don't You don't need that. You you can go fishing without it. And today I'm gonna show you a way that that can, that can happen. And then the second part of this, it's holiday season i know outdoorsmen can be pretty tough to shop for so we're gonna do some fishing and intermix i'm gonna give you guys some gift ideas that i think would be good for a sportsman because i know i'm pretty tough to buy for and maybe some of these ideas will uh spark an idea for uh someone you're buying a gift for this holiday season but first piece of gear i'm a big fan of my eye on auger but early ice we can get away with an axe i use this to check the ice this also is what we're going to use to chop our holes but before that for rods today we're using willow sticks little willow stick brook trout fishing. It's very popular, done it for walleyes, haven't done it for brook trout, which is what we're fishing for today. And we're gonna get a couple rods with a nice bend and hopefully catch a couple fish. <sighs> that one's got some good bend. I don't want a dead one that's just gonna break right away. Let's see. Ooh, I think that's pretty good. Ooh, this one looks nice. Yeah, that one's got real good bend. All right, just like that, we got our two rods. All right, so far, our budget, I mean, you probably own an ax and the branches are free, so we're at zero dollars so far. I'm gonna take off some of these smaller branches. Which limb? We've got options. There's rod number one. I would say it's probably a 42 inch uh, medium. This one, yeah, maybe a 39 inch uh, medium, moderate bend to it. We are gonna start pulling out some of the other gear. And this is where gift idea number one comes out. I'm gonna kind of intermingle these throughout our fishing. These are bags by Daiwa. Basically, it's a heavy duty Ziploc bag. I use them for my GoPro batteries. This is the smaller size. They got medium, they got large. And just for all those loose ends. So I got, you know, trout dough. I got extra ice picks. I got split shots, all sorts of goodies. These are, you know, 10, 20 bucks. You can't really have too many of them because I'm always finding ways to just put all those odds and ends together, whether it be camera gear or fishing gear. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get some fluoro. I got some eight pound Daiwa fluoro here. We're gonna tie it on. I'm assuming we're gonna be pretty shallow, but I will allow to have extra line in case if all of a sudden that fish uh, wants to go for a run. I'm gonna tie it near the top of the stick here, but then we kind of want a safety as well. Any extra line will kind of wrap around the base of the stick. You might be a couple bucks in for some fluoro. These are the hooks I'm using. Gamagatsu octopus size six. This is a V-stock trout hook that I use. Size six can handle a huge fish. You can still catch a small fish on it. I got a couple different things. I got some minnows. I got these little fake egg type things. I got some roe. We'll probably start with maybe a little roe. I'm gonna put a split shot on. 
water gremlin. A little lead split shot just to crimp on a weight. There's a setup, a little trout eggs and then a split shot there. Now I gotta chop a hole, I guess. All right, there's lots of ice. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this stick, I'm gonna pile a bunch of snow around it. Check that out. It's a pretty good bend. So I'm pretty much just gonna tie a little, a little loop knot here. It's gonna slip around the tip. And then last but not least, got some bells. And you'll just notice when your rod jiggles a bit. I know us anglers like to complicate things, but that's about as basic as it gets. All right, so item number two, this is something you probably see hanging off my jacket all the time. These are forceps, hemostats, whatever you wanna call them. Basically long pliers, and they've got that cutting edge right there, which is great for cutting your leader line anytime you need to retie, and then the plier type nose. Really good for getting deep, deep hooks out. They're nice and long, they're very light. So I just clip them on my jacket and they're with me all the time. So if I'm running to a hole, moving around, they're always with me. I always got something I can either re-rig with or uh, get a hook out of a fish. Right now we're gonna cut this and I think we're gonna do just a small minnow on the other one, just a piece of salted minnow. So as mentioned, today we are fishing for brook trout, also known as speckled trout. Often you're fishing for them pretty shallow. And I think people don't realize how spooky they can be. You see it on electronics all the time, but you'll be walking or you'll kneel down when there's a trout around, they'll go poof and just take off. I've heard some people will even set their dead sticks and they'll go onto shore, which is something we might do yet. Yeah, I, I really do think fish can feel you on the ice and sometimes it takes a little bit once you settle down to get your first couple of fish cruising through because these, these stock trout just, they don't really sit still, they're always moving. They won't want to come by if you're noisy. So we got the bells behind us, this one no bells. I will probably start jigging actively yet. Oh. I got some funny looks at the landing on my e-bike. Oh, the fish. I think I'm getting bites. Got him, I got him. We got a brookie, no, I lost him. Oh, I lost him. Oh, that's a good sign. Oh, fish, fish, fish. Oh, that's a nice brook trout. The old willow stick express. Use those forceps I was talking about. All right, there we go. Beautiful little backcountry speckled trout, brook trout. Bye buddy. I'm gonna get rebaited. We're on the board. All right, so next piece of gear for the Christmas list. This one's a little pricier and I've mentioned this one before on my uh, you know gift idea videos. I think for how much money we spend on gear, I think there's not enough money spent on the safety side of things. This is kind of two different parts, but if you're looking for an open water type gift, that would be an inflatable life jacket. I think people complain about, you know, the old style bulky life jackets and I, I get it, but an inflatable one, 200, 300 bucks. I, I wear the Onyx brand, but they're all good. They got the little CO2 cartridge. You forget you're wearing it and it's just something to get into a habit of all the time. The other safety piece, this is more on the ice fishing side of things. This is a Garmin InReach Mini. I think there might be a Mini 2 out now. Basically this thing connects to my phone. You don't need your phone for it, but it's like a sender receiver via satellite of messages. So you don't need cell service and you can send messages. I can send my coordinates. And then as well, it's got this little SOS button in the side. And if something really bad happened, I could press that button and they would send in, uh, send in the troops. I got a fish. Oh, I lost him. Oh. I just saw the rod jiggling as I was talking. This is good action. I need to get the other one set back up. I heard bells. Might have just been a win though. No, that's a fish. Oh no, he just smashed it. I didn't sting him though. We'll see. I gotta try a little bit of a smaller chunk. I think it's just a smaller fish down there. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, it's big and orange. Oh, there we go. Look at the colors on that. You can say whatever you want about stocked fish, but it's such a cool opportunity for a size. All right, this is a male. You can tell by the little hook jaw and the colors are just outrageous. Look at that beautiful fish. Bye, buddy. Wow, that's like a foot of water. Well, we caught a couple fish. It's been really good action. But anyways, next 
gift idea, and this is one that I forgot today that kills me, and it's just as important ice fishing, maybe more important ice fishing than open water, is a pair of shades. You know, you can buy a $20 pair of shades, you can buy a $200 pair of shades. I really like Costas. I'm wearing shades pretty much every day if I don't forget them. You know, when you buy higher end shades, you are getting just better optical clarity, better polarization. Polarization meaning it's cutting that glare, which is really nice when you're, you know, sight fishing, looking for stuff in the boat in the summertime, cutting any sort of glare that might be the issue. But you can actually fry your eyeballs ice fishing. So it's something I've done that I would not recommend. So, you know, regardless if you go and buy a nice pair or not, everyone should have a pair of polarized shades. Oh, just got hammered. Come on. Oh, wow, that's a bigger one. Never mind, same size. These fish seem to have some interesting dots in them, some sort of parasite, but uh, there we have. Backcountry brook trout. Not big, but uh, they put a, put a bend in the old willow stick, if you know what I mean. Oh, another one. This is good action. Oh, I just lost him. One more, one more, and then we're gonna start jigging. Did he just bite it? Yeah, instant, instant. We got a brook trout. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this is fun. And there's another nice little dotted beauty. Cool, all right. Well, I think we're gonna try the little, little dinner bell with how they're eating. We're switching to a more active bait. Come on. First drop, got to thread that line on. <laughs> got him, look at this, look at this, it's the first drop. <laughs> no! <laughs> wow, that was fun. I think I need to stand up when I hook the fish. I can feel it pretty good, surprisingly. Got one. <laughs> Ooh, that's a nice one. Oh, that's a nice one, come on. Wow, that's a bigger year class. So this is probably one that was stocked a year earlier. This is like shooting fish in a barrel. Little tiny dinner bell. Cool, man, I, I can't believe how many fish are down here. And that is the bait of choice. These fish that come in seem to uh, just keep biting until they get caught. I don't want to say until they get hooked because they seem to uh, they seem to come back even if they get hooked. So what I got going now is I just tied a loop on the end there and then I got my safety back here. So for some reason the branch breaks in the middle, I still got that safety line. I doubt it's gonna break the line, but it did have a pretty good bend. I, I'm happy with the stick I picked. All right, we're back in the game. I don't even know where bottom is. Oh, look at the bend on that stick. Come on, another one. You can see a little dinner bell doing the job. Maybe better than the minnow. People think bait's always the answer, but sometimes fish just want something flashy. All right, if you got a walleye angler in the family, this is my new favorite walleye jig. It's called the Meathead Jig. It's a small tungsten jig. I've been using it last season and now this season. It's got a strong hook. It's got a little clevis that hangs the jig at the perfect angle. It's a frostbite bait. My favorite size is actually the smallest size for finessing walleyes. It comes in a bunch of different colors. Another good stocking stuffer idea. Everybody needs more walleye jigs, so get yourself some meatheads. Well, this is kind of funny that we're talking about minimalistic and not having gear, but then also talking about gift ideas on the same side, but everybody probably has an ax some sticks, a spool line and some hooks, you're probably looking at 20 bucks. It's about the research, right? It's about finding where there's fish, finding where there's safe ice, and if it is later in the season and the ax isn't cutting it, you can get yourself a hand crank auger for 50, 60 bucks. You could also go talk to the guy that's got the auger down the shoreline, and I'm willing to bet that he's gonna drill a hole for you. I don't know too many people that wouldn't be willing to drill a hole for somebody getting into ice fishing, so, or ask a buddy to take you out. We get crazy with gear, and yes, it makes ice fishing a lot of fun. It makes it very comfortable, but it shouldn't stop you from going out, enjoying this amazing sport, and hopefully this inspires you guys a little bit. Jig in with stick. Oh, I got one. No? Yep. Oh, I just saw him eat the minnow under the ice. This is wild. Come on, come on, come on. The minnow fell off the hook and the brookie just ate it under the ice. We'll see, maybe I can just get him right here. Oh, oh my gosh. Did you guys see that? <laughs> oh. And <laughs> he's gone. That was absolutely bonkers. All right, we're going back down to the depth. See, that was such an aggressive guy. I'm gonna see if he's gonna just, he just ate it right there. He just ate it again, got him. This is just stupid. Why are these fish so hungry? 
I've seen these dots before on, on pike, but I've never seen them on brookies like this. There she goes. Well, we're getting too many fish. I'm never gonna get through this list of gift ideas, but, I've, ooh, might have been a bite. Again, just hammered me. Got him. <laughs> I'm kind of using my arm to absorb it. I'm not just pulling as hard as I can because something probably would break then. I'm lifting high and now, uh, and there she goes. Pulled a little too hard. As I was saying, of all these gifts, the one that benefits this channel, myself, my family the most, would be buying some catch and cook. Uh, it's one of those gifts for if you don't know what to get somebody, if they have, you know, all the fishing gear, all the odds and ends. If you eat game, you eat fish, eat chicken, even if you're vegetarian, you can make use of catch and cook. So we got some sweet bundles on the website. We got the new lemon pepper coating, the citrus kick spice, the knives, pretty cool gift. So yeah, good stocking stuffers and the, the bundles are the best value you're gonna find all year. So. so yeah, if you're looking for a way to help this channel, that's probably the easiest. Pick up some catch and cook. Everything will be linked below here. There's actually a little bar right on the bottom, the little shop that's tied to my uh, YouTube channel. So you can actually just click right off the video uh, to the bundles, you'll see it on the bottom there. So another gift idea for the person that is everything is get them a trip. It doesn't have to be, you know, a crazy flying trip, which is a good option for a gift, but there are a lot of reasonable drive to options that are a little more economical depending on your budget. You know, that's something for the person that is everything. And there's lots of resources online to find, uh, find out where to go. Fish on, woo, doggy. This one's bulldogging. We might have a trophy. Wow, these fish are strong. <laughs> I can't even hold them, he's going back. All right, next one, and you probably don't have this because it just came out, but Meat Eater just released a board game. Uh, their slogan is the only game where conservation always wins, which is because uh, a portion of all the sales go to a bunch of conservation groups, which I think is pretty neat. And we got bells. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How big is this one? Whoa. Nice male there. Missing one of his uh, his pectoral fins there. Crazy. Oh, wrong way, buddy. Oh, no, no, no. You got it. That one almost took the rod in. Sorry, as I was saying, meat eater board game. Um, it's a trivia based game. Be great for the cottage. Pretty challenging from some of the questions I looked at. So definitely something I'm excited to play, bring it down to Uncle Mark's outpost. It's a very cool game, very cool. It gives back to conservation as well and something that's brand new. So probably you don't have it yet. All right, next piece of gear. I've been using this for two, I, th I think three years now. It's called the Ice Defense. It's this blue mechanism. It sits in my hole. You might've seen it in some past videos. You hook it up to a, a battery. I use my Dakota Lithium Power Box for that. And basically it circulates the water in your hole. It's a little bubbler system. It solves the problem of, uh, your hole freezing up. So, you know, in the hole you're jigging in, it's important. I find the most value in it, putting in my tip up holes. I put the ice defense in there and I kind of set it and forget it. In the past, if it's been colder outside, you gotta go chisel your hole free every little bit and make sure the line's good. But now I set up that bubbler, it'll run all day, keeps your hole clear and your tip up working. So pretty cool device. All right, next gift idea. This is kind of in conjunction with that ice defense. I was talking about the power box I hook it up to. The Dakota Lithium Power Box, there's different sizes. In this case, I'm probably recommending the smaller power box just cause I think it has a ton of use I use it for charging my phone, uh, for giving me extended runtime on my aqua views, the ice defense, uh, GoPros, all that stuff. It, it comes with the 10 amp hour, 12 volt Dakota lithium, and then it's got that little hard shell that has the USB ports, lights on the side. It's just very useful piece of gear. Keep it in my truck all the time, and uh, there's always a use for it. Well, the fishing slowed down, so we're gonna keep running through the ideas. Next one is a cell booster. There's different versions of them. The cell booster that I've had in my truck is one that actually sends out the signal throughout your truck. So it's got one little puck that sends it in like a three to five foot radius and you have antenna that goes on top of the truck. If you're a hunter, angler, you're going down some back roads, you're getting out of cell reception. There are times where I'd be getting between zero and one bar of service. I added the cell booster and I was getting three to four bars everywhere. It has made a big difference for when I'm trying to do, you know, business calls on the road or just call Sam to letting her know I'm okay. Having that cell booster is such a nice thing and I can't imagine not having it. All right, one more idea, it would be mapping. Get somebody, you know, it could be paper maps. It could be a gift certificate for some digital maps, Lake Master, Angler's Edge mapping. If you know somebody fishes a lake lots or the physical maps tool, you can, too, you can get some cool Angler's Edge physical maps that someone can hang on their wall if it's their home lake or their favorite lake. Yeah, something different. I know that as anglers, we're always caught up in rods and reels and lures, which are all good things to have, but mapping is very important, as I mentioned, to do your research, to go scouting before you fish. And if you're really on a budget, just go find somebody some nice sticks. These are good. Okay, I thought I was done with the gift idea, but seriously, this bike called the Himaway Cobra, 
I'll bring it by. I wasn't planning it to be one of the gift ideas, but these have gained so much popularity in the hunting world in the last couple years. Yeah, I mean, there isn't like season long functionality for ice fishing really, because you're probably gonna be using a snowmobile or an ATV, but man, for getting into your hunting spot quietly or for, you know, ice fishing, pulling a little bit of gear. I, once I have the toboggan rigged up, this is gonna be a sweet setup, but for today, it was fun. Nothing against some uh, physical fitness, but when you're going on a long trek, I think the battery's right in here and I think it gives you like, I think they said 80 miles on a charge. So you don't have to pedal at all. You can just press the throttle. It'll drive you if you pedal it assists it, but uh, it's fun. It's a fun toy and uh, something I'm gonna use for some more ice fishing trips this winter for sure. Okay, we're wrapping up. Hopefully those gift ideas were helpful, but more so the main purpose of this video is hopefully it just inspires you guys to get out fishing. If you've been on the fence about ice fishing, just try it. The worst that happens is you get skunked, you know? Check the ice, make sure it's safe, and then go find some sticks, a little bit of bait, and you might have the best day ever. So thank you for watching. As always, the support is, uh, is humbling to say the least, and uh, we're gonna just keep cranking out the videos. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.